Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here to start up a new campaign in Vanilla Hearts of Iron Ford with the Gato Demerung DLC in which we're playing as, well, this guy, but not for long because we're going to rally the Wehrmacht. Uh, the Adolf's reign must come to an end. He means to provoke the Western powers by remilitarizing the Rhineland, but doing so will give us the excuse we need to seize power with the help of lower elements in the Wehrmacht and rally the people of Germany against him, the loyalty of the Kriegsmarine. It has come to our attention that the Kriegsmarine may opt to side with Adolf when we execute a coup. The reason seems to be that their leader, Raider, has been promised by Adolf that his branch of the military will gain heavy investments and freedoms under his regime, something the old government has failed to achieve. Perhaps we should make similar promises in an effort to sway him to our side. Uh, must secure loyalty at any costs. A large portion of the Kriegsmarine will join our side when a coup takes place. Fail to complete either rebuild the High Seas Fleet um, or High Seas Fleet and reestablish a See Krieg's light doing within two years, he may revolt against the regime. Oh, we have a counter coup. Only a smaller portion of the Kriegsmarine will join our side. But we know you check out any promises. Where is that? Oh, what why am I here? Rebuild the nation. <coughs> Rebuild the high seas fleet. And that's over there. Oh. Well, we're going communist in this campaign, because someone asked me to do it, so. Um Eh, we won't place them. Because we're going to go start the proletarian revolution. Rally the nation. There are many within our nation who are willing to stand up against the not, uh, the not bad, not cool guys now that the opportunity has arrived. We should rally the people and perhaps even make contact with the paramilitary organizations with experience of fighting against the, the, the guys, the bad people, ever since the days of the Weimar Republic. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. But we do have a green monster here to keep us nice and energized. Also, we'll see what happens. Um, you know what? Just for funsies. Whoop. Also, this is a historical, so we have no idea what's going to happen in this campaign. Probably some really stupid stuff is going to happen, but that's always it's pretty normal. As for the historical, you're almost guaranteed everything's going to play out as the way you wish it to. And boom. Lane did dissatisfaction with Adolf's rules come to a head of the current crisis caused by the administration's move to remilitarize the Rhineland. A number of Wehrmacht generals have rallied behind the well-known Field Marshal August von Mackensen, who has put in motion plans aiming to dispose of Adolf and remove the Nazi party from Germany. While the split of the German High Command became apparently clear even abroad, foreign powers have elected not to protest against their militarization. We're concerned with the growing internal German instability. The aging Field Marshals quickly moved, uh, already establishing a provisional government, to which scores have flocked in their opposition to the, the Nazi government. The military coup is under, well underway. Purge the Nazis come from the land. The great war hero, huh? Ah, oh, would you look at that? All right, so what do we got here? We got a lot of militia. Ah, that's fine. Whatever. Declared war upon us. Yeah, it is what it is. And rally the nation. And we got a little bit of political power here. The rebellion in Silesia, if not completed, the Fourth Silesian Uprising. Due to recent instability and civil war within our nation, those who wish for an independent Silesia have started agitating, preparing for a potential uprising. Provided the opportunity to present itself. Be Wise to crush these delusions as rapidly as possible. Well, we'll see. Also, I wanted to do this just to see what it'd be like with the Civil War, see if anything's changed or not. Oh, cancel MFO bills. Sharpen air safety regulations with more rigid safety regulations in place. We can prevent some of the more common causes for catastrophic accidents, including those with airships. And the Egadon program. Yeah, sounds about right. Oh, MFO bills. We've done that before. It's okay. You know what? Honestly, I don't want them in this campaign. Get rid of them. Do we have anyone with infantry? Sure. Enough. Definitely. Organization? Sure. So. 5 and 3. Uh, infantry leader? Ah, eh, fun. It's Laban. It's good. Broadens of war. Do we have any planes? Fighters, air support. You know what? Uh, we're at war now. We can use these guys too. Boop, boop, boop. You guys do that. You guys do this. And what do we have for ships? Okay, so you probably should stop doing that. Well, at least we need another sub. 
and you combine them all. Mm, I'll use you. Yeah, look, I remember it was D. You see Wolf at all? No. Positioning. There you go. There you go. And so we're gonna try to make all this stuff here. Let's make the RE as well. Alright, so we've got nothing going on. We need infantry divisions. Raids, garrisons are high. But four. So anywhere we get attack. We have maybe one spare division. They're going to attack us. Well, if they're going to attack us, I guess we better attack them. Expatriated communists returning home. Where there's a very coup against the Nazi regime, many communists who previously left the country are now flooding back into our borders. As they see the opportunity to aid in a battle against those who once wronged them. Should we allow them to fight or should we sweep them under the rug and hope that they will not become popular enough to receive a revolution of their own? So let's keep an eye on them. Welcome back. See what you can do there. Um, I'd rather not lose this tile. Could you guys do this? And take out effort. And August von Mackensen, what do you have here? Defense, yes. You're winning there, which is good. You're losing here, unfortunately. Here, just go there then. It's fine for now. Um, you might want to help out there too. You won't do that much damage, but we'll see. Heavy Tone Turingen, yeah. Makes sense. So you can just bomb and damage them. Alright, S. liberated from prison. Our poor come in the group of communist partisans have broken into and freed the committed communist and former leader of the KPD, Ernest Tailman, from the Balton prison in Saxony. As part of the rival of Walter Ulbricht has denounced his attack on the prison as an anti revolutionary act of terror, a statement likely stemming from his fear that the widely liked Tailman would be able to gain back leadership of the party. Interesting development. The reformation of paramilitary wings, our politicians and generals, have recently been discussing the idea of introducing paramilitary wings into the ranks of our soldiers. The conservative parties wish for the establishment of the Bismarck Youth, the anti-Marxist youth movement associated with the DNVP. Others, however, see already combating social democratic Eisenhower Front as a prime organization to strengthen if we wish to use more paramilitaries within our armed forces. New Bismarck Youth. Power of the Iron Front, if anything. Democracy. Weekly manpower. Huh. Well, right now, what are we? We're heavily non-aligned. We're heavily democratic. I want us to be more communist, though. Um, I really don't want to be unaligned. I really don't want to be democratic, but we should do that one. Rebuild the nation? No. Denazification campaign. Uh, in order to truly rid souls of the Nazi disease that has infected the very heart of the German Junta, uh, we must put the extensive efforts into denazifying and arresting Nazis or those who harbor them as soon as we find it. Find them out. Ooh, that one too. I like that one. Strength and increase me. Or... Well, we need at least one of these, so I'm okay with that. Yeah, well, that's fine for now. Cool. And I'll grab you. All right, so you're gonna hold, you're gonna hold, hold. It's fine. Hello? Second London Naval Treaty signed, alrighty. Well, would you look at that? I like that a lot. We're definitely gonna get in circle here. Up 
Take him out. And can you try to go get all the VPs? Develop modern warfare and maneuvers. We must recognize the evolving nature of modern warfare and develop a new doctrine emphasizing the integration of infantry and new technologies to maximize their military effectiveness on the battlefield. That makes sense. Right, you gotta go here then. Come on. There you go. Come on, god dang it. Oh, I might have really do this off screen, maybe just a little bit. This is very annoying. This is stupid. Yeah, I might redo this just a little bit off screen. All right, so we went ahead and adopted a new Panzer Doctrine. We're almost done with the war, but Hans Guderian and other radical theorists are pushing for their new doctrines emphasizing communication, identification, Schwerpunkte, and local concentrations combine our forces, giving them free reign, mile before the Greek grinder hordes of the Great War, and instill Alftragstati. Our military has long practiced Aufstrag Tactik, or Mission Command, emphasizing decentralized command and individual initiative. As has led to flexibility and autonomy, enhancing your ability to adapt and to succeed in unforeseen situations. It's paramount that we continue the practice for forces, for our forces to be ever victorious and rebuild the nation. We must focus a lot of our efforts on rapid reconstruction, and we wish to recover from the ousting of the Nazi blight. People have to live modestly and working hard in the meantime, but we'll surely do the same with the better promise of a better tomorrow. Alright, so you can see we're trying to still st we're struggling here, but we're doing way better than we did earlier. Um, so we're going to go with that next. Let's see, you all need to do your jobs. Like, go. Okay, policy, it's fine. Can we please take Berlin? Hello? It's not that difficult. It's really not that bad. Take you, and you're gonna study. Yes. There you go. There you go. And the war's still not over. Are you kidding me? Where are these divisions coming from? I love when the AI just cheats. We've lost a couple divisions here and there, as we saw earlier as well. Come on, get in there. Go, go, take Leipzig. You're going to force the attack at this point. I really don't care. This is taking way too long. Now, why would you choose that tile? This tile's way better. Right there. There you go. And the 4th Silesian Uprising. Reports the reaches of Silesian and Polish partisans opening fire upon German soldiers in Silesia. It's in independence for their nation and saw a civil war as a sign of weakness. They needed to muster up the courage to secede. I'm sure the goals aren't achieved, that the rebellious, rebellions put down as safely as possible. They cannot be allowed to secede. I don't care if we're going to war with them. That's okay. They should die. Yeah, we need more closer support. So we got all that. Um, we probably should do... Oh, we're going to prioritize economic growth. Here's the neg negligent fiscal policies that have almost ruined our economy. We must rebuild uh, tractors instead of tanks, hand out shelves instead of rifles, and prioritize economic growth instead of growing the arms industry. I've never done that route before, so there we go. We're going to die. Denmark offers a trade proposal. A Danish delegation has approached with a trade proposal. Denmark produces a large amount of food products, of which we have imported quite a bit historically. They recently devalued their domestic currency, the krona, making the agricultural goods far more competitive. This trade agreement could prove quite a boon for us as a secure food for our population and strengthen our supply lines. Mm, consumer goods. No. Nazi leadership capture, as long as we freed our country from the grip of our enemies and those loyal citizens who rose up to support a cause, and have finally returned to their homes. As a nation, we may begin long and arduous process of rebuilding the nation. The country's leadership in turn is free to begin looking ahead at what might come in the future. Democracy or return to the old monarchy. One last thing remains to be taken care of, however. At the end of the Civil War, the troops have managed to capture a large group of Nazi leadership. Now there only remains a decision of what to do with the unsavory part of the recent history. Hang them. Oh, we can't do that yet. Prison for life that might come, come useful in the future. Um, let's get this done first. I can't afford to lose these guys yet, so... Huh. Yeah, there you go. Is that not good enough yet? Crap. Hello? August von Mackensen... Okay, so that's really bad. Uh, August von Mackensen retires from uh, the military. With the victory of the Nazi minister secured head of the military government, August von Mackensen. 
As once again, set step back in the field command, due to his age and worsening condition. I say that he will help with sim simply help with the admin duties from now on. Future of the paramilitary wing. Civil war having gone come to an end, and the Nazi regime been fully dismantled, uh, it has come into question whether it's really a wise move to openly allow political paramilitary organizations to operate freely in a country. Seeing as the unit has little to no formal control over them, it might be wise to ban them before they disband them. Otherwise, we could perhaps keep them around and scale them down enough to the point they should be a threat. Disband them all together. That's fine. Get your butts in there. Come on. Growing public dissent. That's pretty normal. The Civil War finally ended, and we're slowly rebuilding the nation. While people are longing for stability and security, but have a growing feeling of being adjusted with an overall goal or aim. Populous is growing weary of this uncertainty and demanding a city course. Well, we're doing everything we can right now, so let's do this. Bomb the hell out of them. What? Just stay there. There you go. Well, we're technically still in the Civil War. Um, yeah. I'm not sure why those divisions were just deleted outright when we're still fighting. So that's an oversight by a paradox. So now the Civil War is over. The Civil War is actually much more difficult than it was before, in my opinion. Right now, it's, it was pretty easy, like beforehand, but now? Mm. Alright, so we got that, which is good. Let's see, revitalize the nation. Oh, that'll be mad. Public works program, I like that. Then to the future of Germany. Now that Germany has successfully been safe from the Nazis, we must look forward toward new horizons and decide the future tra trajectory of our nation for unity, justice, and freedom. I'm okay with that. Yep, there goes Norway. They're going crazy. Blue light tanks would be nice too. We should probably start making some light tanks as well. Boop. Oh, I don't mind making infantry divisions too, but it's going to be a low priority. Ships. There we go, right there. Oh, you all go there. Oh, hello. One, two, three. And instead of doing that, you're just going to train. Care about? Nope. There you go. Oh, hello. We got even more stubs. Not percent world tension. Mm, it's not bad. Um, that's not bad. We need a lot of planes. Growing public disconsent. Military units are facing an uncertain future. Less political power and weakness ability goes down. Huh. Sharpen air safety regulations. No, I want my more political power. Economic reformer. Adolf Friedrich of Mecklenburg. Garrison penetration chance. Interesting. Influential pastor. Huh. Oh, my finger slipped. Start so the proletarian revolution. We had hoped that after the first civil war, the voice of the workers would have heard more. It does not, however, seem to be that way. The proletariat deserves better, and by allowing them to rise up, we might finally be able to secure power to all those who favor the proletariat once for all. Yeah. That's right. Right, Van Mackensen? That's right. Really focusing on getting more kind of support. As much as I do want to do revitalize the Kaiser eventually, but we'll wait. I have to wait for that. What is this? Ooh. So we're getting another civil war. We're going to National Books Army, political commissars, well, one more daily comp support, and formalized intelligence wing. The country suffered greatly under the rulers, which has now had the interests of the people in their mind. To ensure that we can now rebuild the nation, we must for now, first know what they have to work with. A functional intelligence wing will be a good start. Hello? Where'd you go? Oh. That'd be nice. Happy, it's basically 1937, everybody. Happy 1937. Boom. And boom. Ah. Oh, organized worker rally. Imminent yeah, proletarian revolution. Oh, wow. I really don't want to have another civil war. So, what does this do? Expand the proletarian. Oh, okay. Blue stability. This is where we'll spend all our political power, I guess, huh? Alright. 
Uh, actually, since we're here, I'm going to go grab motorization drive. Yeah. Maneuver warfare. That stuff is all alright. Cool. Effective operation. So, what is this? Wait to be. Private nation. Mechanical computing. Seven. Extraction. Anything for ships or planes, perhaps? Too much. Fuel gain, I guess. Growing public discontent. Resurrect the Red Front's Fighters League. The Red Front Fighters League was a paramilitary organization affiliated with the movement during the Weimar Republic. Under the fascist regime, they bravely fought back both the police and other oppressors in the same fashion. Our, as their old regime usually employed, the Red Front Fighters were banned for this. It's time to bring them back. That's right. 59 days, that's not good. 154 days. We're gonna lose a lot of political power soon. We're trying to spur the revolution as fast as we can, man. Rogan is a national Volk's army. Corruption of fascist Santa is still run deep within our army. To prevent a Santa mutiny, we must weed out those that wish to harm us. This will leave us with a gaping hole in the ranks, so that to ensure our people's safety, we must appoint new, low generals to lead our brave soldiers in a battle should such actions be needed. Ah, look at this. Militia. Got it. It's like a commissars. There are those within the ranks that can yet be swayed or caused rather than the fall of them before they adhere to. The most appointed officers whose responsibility is to educate the common soldier the benefits of communism and organize them to assure loyalty. Maybe some organization could get some better recovery rate. Great. The Civil War finally at end, the German nation is slowly rebuilding and responding, but its people are longing for stability and security. August von Mackensen has made no effort to move forward and he's uninterested in deciding what the future of the new Germany should look like. This has caused great concern in the population who are eager to move away from this broken past. Disturbances in it. Folks. Disturbances in it, isn't it? Oh, high speed. Long range. There you go. Give me a proletarian revolution. I guess we can have this one next too. It's both. Hey, let's get this one done. That's nice. Let's see what else we got here. This. That's fine. Boop, boop. Hey, tank division. That's nice. In the brick incident. Von der Rundstadt. Vincenz Müller. Oh. Von Lieb. I'm okay with that. Um, Rommel can be, I guess, leading for this one. Why not? Rapid Army Expansion. Um, the People's Victory. More than 50% supports. Form the Stasi. Well. Assemble the Red Orchestra. As Stasi continue to grow, we must expand its area of operations. Missions carried out by beyond German borders are important to the state. Security is also commenced within the country. Are we at 50%? We are at 50% already. So why can't we do anything about... Do we just have to do a civil war? I don't understand this. This makes no sense to me. Why? Okay, okay, the people's victory. Okay. The people have spoken, the people have been heard. Our old and corrupt government has shown signs of weakness, and we must seize the opportunity to demand their resignation and take power for ourselves in the name of the people. Oh, that'd be great. Oh, we lose political power, though. You get exactly plus point zero nine political power. Or more common support, I should say. Hope we can rapidly expand and whatnot after this. Alright, so then now we gotta figure out this out. Sign the Second Treaty of Berlin. Non aggression pact. Digital cooperation. 
Want a proletarian dictatorship? State controlled economy, central planning, the German stock novite movement, huh. and spheres of influence. We get our sphere of influence, but then the Soviets get their own sphere of influence. Protect the British, Polish protector, proletariat. And oppression of the Hungarian workers. Northern Shield. Or let's go see the Spartacus League. Social ownership, which is the one that you get Vox Commissariats or something like that. Protect the revolution. Man subjugation in neighboring countries where civil war was triggered by the German junta. Ah, this is the one. So we want to go left. Like I said, the Spartacus League. Spartacus League ceased to exist in 1919 as Kommunistische Partei Deutschland was formed, but some of their ideas were worth bringing back. The Lego had visions of creating a socialist republic with its basis in democratic elections and the will of the people, yet allowing revolutionary groups, if need be. Some will work towards this goal once more. Absolutely. And they'll sign a second treaty Berlin. Hey, we're a nice little pink reddish color. Ernest Tellman, welcome. Um, naval stuff? We're going to have a, quite a navy. Um, so we're gonna maybe start working on carriers, perhaps. Look at this guy. A stern communist. Exactly 0 .09 daily common support. Exactly. The banker. Well, maybe. Probably not. Economic performer? It's not bad. Inflexible communist organizer. Get more political power like that. Militant communist. Doctrine's coordinator? That's pretty good. Agency upgrade down like that. Daily compliance. I like that too. Quite a bit, actually. Hmm. I like the extra political power for now. I'm not sure what, how much you can really do with it. Marxist philosopher. Oh, we can wait. Get more daily comm support, political power, and research speed. We already get comm support, so we don't need this guy yet. We can wait to get this guy, I guess. Anything else here? Our stability is pretty bad. And what are we building? Nothing. Roads, that's it. There you go. Um, because of that, now I want to do from the Stasi. Ooh. Ooh. Daily Comm Support goes up too. Great intelligence agency. Send the second tree Berlin. We're aware of our sizable army, yep. We're equally aware that the Soviet Union has an army that uh, does not, we should not engage with. By reaching out and ensuring that we are on the same page to avoid hostilities, we can ensure a better future for all of our workers in their respective countries. Social ownership would be nice. A leader for the people. With the turn towards the ideals of the Spartacus League comes a wish to involve the people a bit more actively. An election to choose a person to represent us has been called, and as all ballots have been counted, it seems that the results are very even. The people clearly think that both candidates uh, apt leaders, apt leaders for the people of the Republic of Germany. Uh, that's number point one. Heinrich Brandler, becomes leader of the Communist Party, pragmatic trade unionist. Yep, and a stamina power. Oh, modified strong communist. I like this guy. Ah, so that's why you had the point zero nine. Ah, that makes more sense. And more militia stuff, I guess. John took one state. Okay. And Marxist philosopher. Yes, please. We need research for more too faster as well. I want to help. I want to help, like, send volunteers, but we don't have enough divisions. Yeah, not really. Can I send people here? No. Sovereign states cannot send volunteers to anarchists. Bro. Come on. God dang it. Alright, so we got that. Defense treaty with the Soviet Union. Ah, they agreed to a non aggression pact. Great. Our request to enact a non aggression pact with the Soviet Union has been met with approval. From now on, both abstain from aggression towards each other. We are certain this will benefit both of our nations greatly. Great. Revitalize the nation. It's only 35 days. Modify Philip Holzman. Or social ownership. Oh. Intervene in Spain. I want to do that really badly, though. We see what happens when important state services are allowed to be run by people whose goals not align with what is best for the people. To prevent this from ever happening again, we should transfer our industry into public ownership. Good. Do we have enough yet? Oh, we can actually change these divisions. Okay, that's good. These guys are. I don't like militia. Now, I could be wrong. Militia might have changed. But, wow, they're not heavily. Huh. Okay. Does that equal 30 yet? I think it does. We can't send volunteers to anarchists. 
Spain is heavily communist. But they're democratic. For now. Alright, so. Um, I'll just send the two bandit divisions. That's fine. Uh, that's fine, whatever. Yay! This is going to get involved, finally. Alright, so we can send one thing of planes, which means... Uh, you died, okay. Are you winning, son? How about down here? Are you winning, son? Uh, how about over here? Are you winning, son? Hey, that's where you're gonna get the army XP. Or air XP, I should say. Because right now we're lacking quite a few things. Uh, yeah, I think we get to that later. Hey, we made it, yay. This looks like a giant freaking mess. So we're gonna help clean it up, hopefully. Mm. You do that, over there. Also, you need that fuel. Try to wait for at least one fuel. Ah, we'll get two. Okay, that's too many. There you go. Let me get involved now. Can you help win the battle? Should be able to. Because that's what we're focusing on very heavily. Just lots and lots of fuel. Alright, so we got some social ownership. Intervene in Spain, yes. So, duty help our comrades in Spain in whatever way we can against the forces of the fascism. So, any battle hardened troops will surely be appreciated. Condor Legion. Very nice. Come on, take out the port. They'll be stuck there. Nationalize industries. Ooh. Liberate Austria. Embrace democratic institutions. Hmm. Civil liberties. Ooh. There's a misconception among our comrades that in order for the state to function efficiently and securely, it must coerce every individual into conformity. West runs counter to the objective of socialism. Only through the projection of civil liberties will the people be truly loyal to the state. Soviet opposition requests support. Members of the anti Stalin Soviet opposition are currently campaigning against the Stalinist regime. A number of anti Stalin rallies have been organized, and they are run fundraising campaigns here in the People's Republic of Germany, in addition to raising popular support for the cause. They have secretly approached us with a request for arms to support the uprising. Uh. Sh sure. Yeah, guys. You know what? I'm okay with this. Let me start working focus on air stuff as well. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. Up your learning. Hey, become a panzer leader, which is great. Um, defense treaty. Guarant they guarantee us. Well, maybe we'll, maybe it's best to wait at this point now for that. Now that we know that's what's going to happen. <laughs> Resources. We're going to create industries of the Soviet Union in return for resources. Mm. I'm not sure that's worth it. The Volks Autobahn. Currency reforms. Ooh, the first step of economic recovery and revitalization is to make sweeping currency reforms. Strengthen the Kriegsmarine. The Anglo German naval agreement was secured in 35, allowing us to expand our naval great navy greatly. We should spare no effort in doing so. And expand the Luftwaffe. Modern wars cannot be won without dominating the skies. We must do everything in our power to develop the Air Force. I think we're doing all right. Oh, and it seems like they're probably going to have a civil war in the Soviet Union. Well, would you look at that. Well, you know what? We're going to trade with both sides. Flampanzer? Very nice. Tanks. Ooh, it is 1938. Yeah. I'm glad I actually looked at this. <laughs> we definitely need this. Um... Hmm... That's fine. <sighs> Come back a little later. So we're getting there. Can we help support them there? No. Oh, we're also improving working conditions. Well, that's why it's so bad. Civil liberties. So can we raise kind of support in there? Nationalize industries. Social welfare. What is that? Weekly manpower. Ooh. Women's rights and equality. Get more population. Support the flame of liberation. Bolstered common sentiments in minor neighboring countries. Well, we could try this. Our neighbors in the south long live under the terrible conditions for the people. Though they call another country their home, we share much likeness and even share language. For the best of the Austrian people, shall extend a demand no one offer to join us. Well, what if we improve relations? They're democratic in this campaign. 
Um, I wouldn't mind doing this, industrial cooperation. Well, we're gonna wait till the Civil War's over first, maybe. Uh, form of Stasi. The intelligence wing has been a great success. We've now begun looking for the problem of this ability, creating a ministry that concerns itself with the state security. It might not be the most popular decision among the people, but it's one that'll be necessary. I guess we revitalize the nation, too. After the ravages of the Civil War, we must look into rebuilding our nation. We'll ask people to set aside the personal comforts for the times so we may focus all of our resources on attaining this goal. And currency reforms. Sweeping currency reforms, of course. Um, Pan's a good idea. It's not bad. Our military doctrines at rest mobility and will depend on how well our militarized troops perform. Neither the infantry nor Panzer divisions will be successful in their advancements without proper support. By integrating mechanic mechanized infantry with their spearheads, we ensure our forces may superiority in offensive operations. But unfortunately, it's going to have to cut it short here today. Uh, the next episode will be hopefully longer, but if you enjoyed the video of us becoming communists, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow, as we'll see what else we can do with the People's Republic of Germany. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.